Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim Scottwell and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can use the duplicate tool in Affinity Photo. If you make any types of designs that rely on precision and symmetry, this is an awesome way to get that done and I guarantee it will speed up your workflow many many times over and uh, there's really not a whole lot to it but we're going to take a look at it right now. If you like this tutorial, I would highly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and leave the, uh, a comment in the comments down below what, how you would like to use the uh, duplicate tool. I'll see you all inside. So we're inside Affinity Photo again and all I've done is transparent background put a black rectangle over it and now we're going to take a look at the awesomeness of the duplicate command and instead of copy and paste which it will be let's say we take this star here we want to make a t-shirt design or something and so if I needed one more of these I could hold down control while I drag it click and drag and get one more or I could simply command control C command control V and then you have another one and then you want to say you wanted to uh, flip this one on its head here make maybe make it a little bit smaller then you need, wanted to keep the same distance between here and the scale down here to the this next one here but you also wanted to keep the rotation so now we're let's say there and we've got to make it a little bit smaller again you can see we're no nowhere close to doing being able to do that and we would be if we took the time but this would take like 20 minutes to do get it great so instead what we need to do here i'm gonna just group these and then put a lock on them lock it down now we're gonna do the same but with duplicate so we're gonna make this star there we go we're gonna hit the move tool you see we have our star here and now we're going to do the same thing but instead we're going to do command control j we have duplicate we can see we've got one more now we're going to move it down here we're going to flip it around like so like we did on the other one put them together there and we're going to make it a little bit smaller and move it back up here again and see what happens when you hit command control J again. It keeps doing it and everything is in perfect proportions and symmetry to each other. And you can just click it as many times as you want. And if I now take top one there and group this, we can move it. And you can see here it's the exact same size and rotation it even uh, rotated the stars for us so that's really cool but it doesn't it works on everything not just these shapes here so whatever you do you could uh, you can make so if you hit B on the brush tool make the brush a little bit smaller and I don't know what that would be but hit uh, V again get the move tool up Hit Command J. You can move it. Maybe now you want it to do it like so, and then maybe get it a little smaller. Or I don't know what this would be here, but again, Command Control J. Ah, because I I removed it. I, uh, so command control J we have it we're not clicking out of of having it marked so command control J again and just gonna keep on doing the same thing with uh, the same distance and rotation every time just keep it steady so that's pretty cool and if you had made a pen tool you hit P, got the pen tool up, made some lines, and uh, I really, let's see there, let's see if we can just make some, there we go, I don't 
that might be a foot or something. Hit V again, we mark it. Command control J, we're gonna make this root a lot smaller. And we're gonna flip it and then take. Now we're gonna have to do it again because it doesn't keep it after you have have a unlocked it or not have it selected anymore. So command control J, but you all get the point. So you're just gonna move it, flip it around, and do like so. And then we have it here. You can see we had everything. It's just gonna keep doing it for us. That's amazing. Thank you all for watching and uh, remember if you like this tutorial please hit that subscribe button and uh,